documenting my vertical sleeve gastrectomy or VSG surgery and lifestyle things. Um, it has been a minute. I have not done a video in about a month and a lot has gone on. Really, really good stuff. And so I want to update you all. Um, I have not detailed or written down notes for this video. I'm really just going to wing it and freestyle it. So if you want to hear about my progress thus far, then stay tuned. First and foremost, I know my camera angle is jacked because I didn't do the normal setup because I just cannot cope with her. Yes, you heard it. Your girl got a job. I just started my fifth week at my new job working for the man, working for the government. Um, so that's what I've been doing. And every week I'm like, I need to do a new video. I need to upload something. I need to do something. And I tell myself I'm going to do it and it doesn't happen. So I decided to stop bullcrapping and give y'all progress video today. So. First and foremost, if you have been following my channel or if you are new to this channel, welcome or welcome back. Um, let's get into some stats. Your girl started off at 409 whopping freaking pounds. And that was as of August 3rd, which is the day I had my consultation in 2018. I had surgery on December 3rd. Um, and when I went into surgery, I was at 380. So I had lost 29 pounds in my post-op phase. Uh, post-op for me was about four months. You know, I wanted to schedule it to align with my work schedule at the time and just made sure that it was the, the right time for me um, and just to get some financials in order and all that other good stuff. Um, and then as of today, um, I actually hit five months post-op on May 3rd. So it's been 10 days since I've been five uh, months post-op and I'm currently sitting, it's, it's been fluctuating like the past two days between 323 and 324. So I am, depending on which day it is, I am 86 or 85 pounds lost since my um, pre-op phase. So to give y'all updates on the exercise portion of this journey because again, this is not a walk in the park. This is not an easy quick fix. Um, you know, surely you can get surgery and then do nothing else after that and just lose the weight as it rolls off. But, um, for me, I want to have muscles. I want to have definition. I want to try to minimize the loose skin as much as possible. So I've really been hitting the gym hard. Uh, this will be week four for me. Um, so I've worked out here and there since I've been cleared for surgery after surgery, sorry, since I've been cleared to work out, but I really decided to like get my ass together about three weeks ago so the first week i did about three days the second week i did four days and last week i hit five days in the gym and even though the scale is not dropping dramatically like i wish it would i'm definitely seeing a crazy crazy change in my body like my waist and not stomach okay waist is the smallest it's been i feel like even when i was the size before my waist didn't look like this like i'm looking like cinched for the gods um and like my thighs and arms i mean everything i'm really happy with my progress so if you are somebody that's watching this video that's debating on surgery um again everybody's um progress is different everybody's experience is different but um definitely do this if it's something that you really want don't let anybody deter you don't let anybody talk you out of it. This has been the best mother decision I have ever made. I wish I did it a long time ago. Um, so let's see. Energy wise, um, I would say my energy has been flailing just because I have not been on top of my vitamins like I'm supposed to be. If you've been researching surgery, you do know that vitamins are key. I take six large multivitamins a day that's created by my surgeon. Um, you can catch them at barrylife.com, just B-A-R-I life.com, and they're coated in vanilla, and they're really, really good. And again, they're not too big for me to swallow, like they don't get stuck and stuff like that, um, but that's like the biggest, most essential part of your progress and your recovery, and I know that I haven't been as on it as I need to be, which is why my energy hasn't been the greatest. So if I look sleepy, like that's why, because, you know, let's get into some real shit here. So at about five months post-op, I had a glass of Moscato at my sister's house. Then we went out to this new, fancy, cute Mediterranean restaurant, and I had a cocktail there, a wine cocktail. It was like, it was like some type of champagne with a popsicle in it that had like pineapple on it and stuff, whatever. So that was my first time drinking since surgery, and I honestly felt absolutely 
absolutely nothing, okay? Um, I felt a little tinglage, but that's it. So I had the equivalent of like two, two and a half glasses of wine, and it did nothing for me. You know, maybe I lucked out there, and then this past weekend and the weekend prior, I had like a glass of wine. Um, okay, let's keep it real. My sister, my best friend came over, we were catching up Friday night, I had two glasses of wine. Last night I had two glasses of wine. I think I'm just trying to see what point will I get buzzed, I don't know. Um, but listen, I don't need the judgmental folks on my page talking about something. You need to follow your doctor's orders. Again, different doctors have different orders. Some doctors clear people way ahead of time. Mine is just so strict they wanted a year. But again, I did what I did and I don't regret it. But I really am not getting a buzz from wine, so there's that. Um, I woke up this morning tired of shit. There was that. But other than that, yep, your girl has tried wine. I am officially in, like, I guess the maintenance state of phase of food, which means I can have red meat. So there's no restrictions as far as what I'm able to have. We had, like, four different phases, and you slowly add it back certain foods. And then, of course, they say starches are always need, they always need to be um, in moderation, red meats in moderation. Um, for Mother's Day dinner, Saturday night, I had prime rib, and y'all, it was fire. Is that the first time I had steak since? Yeah, that's the first, well, it's not steak, but it looks like it, okay? It's the first time I had that kind of meat, um, also since surgery, and it was bomb. So anyhow, yes, I am human, yes, I messed up, yes, I may not follow all the directions to the team, but I am a work in progress, and I'm trying, I promise I'm trying. So as far as my clothes are concerned, you know, when I started a new job, I needed new clothes because all of my other stuff, I was swimming in it. So I purchased size 22. I was a tw size 26 at surgery. I purchased size 22 dress pants and um, I'm wearing like a size 18, 20 top. Depends. My boobs are shrinking. I don't, well, it don't look like it, y'all, but they really are small. They're small compared to what I was used to. Um... But, um, yeah, so about three weeks ago, I went shopping and kind of went nuts, bought some dresses, bought, bought some pants. Yes, I know I should have thrifted, but it was a new job. I wanted to just be swaggy, be drippy, be saucy in my first couple of weeks at a new job. You know, did find out there's a whole lot of snacks that work there, so there's that. Um, but I just wanted to look good and feel good and have on new threads. And so, yeah, so right now I'm sitting in, this top is a 2X and it's flooding me already and um my pants again are 22x xlt like the extra large tall and they're also flooding me so <coughs> sorry i'm entering into a size 20 after i just bought all these clothes lesson learned maybe but i'm like i'm just gonna pin these bitches up put a belt on them i don't know i don't care but i love my new clothes and it makes me feel good but i'm also like losing my mind kind of because like, the size I was in high school was a size 18, but I was thickums, okay? I had a small waist, like, big butt thighs, all that. I looked like a tasty-ass snack. I really can't even wrap my head around that I'm almost back to my pant size from high school. Like, that's crazy, because when I look at myself, I don't see that, you know? And it's, it's a part of that body dysmorphia where you don't see what you really look like. All you still see is that big person, and, you know... It's crazy. Um, when I got these pants, I got some jeans in the mail. I ordered a size 22 jean and um, from Tord because that's like my go-to. Everything I wear is Tord. It's just an addiction. And they had um, Hope Cash. And if you are a Tord shopper, you know exactly what the hell I'm talking about. Hope Cash, you get pretty much 50% off of everything. If you have these coupons, depending on how much you purchase before that time period that the Hope Cash is active. So between me and my mom, um, I had like... $600 in Hope Cash, maybe. I'm telling a whole lie. Like $300 in Hope Cash. So that just meant that I could purchase $150, $300 worth of clothes for $150. So anyhow, I went nuts and I went shopping. Um, but anyhow, I ordered a pair of jeans last week, got them in the mail two days ago. Size 22, mind you, because that's like my new size. And also, it was a very proud moment to be back in a size 22 because from 2005 until 2012, I was a size 22. So that was, I spent seven years in that pant size. That's what I was used to. That was when I was, you know, pretty hot and tempting. I was like doing my own thing. You know, I thought it was super cute back then. So to be back in that pant size is funny. But anyhow, I get the jeans and the jeans are too big. So I know that I'm definitely in a size 20. 
I'm going to go back to the store this weekend and exchange them. But I'm just like, I can't even. Y'all haven't been in a size 20 since 2004. Like right after high school or something like that. Now, I'm maybe I can, I'm going to add a picture of how I used to look. So you can see what a size 20, 22 is working on your girl. I was, I was looking good. I was looking good. But I got to tell you this. One thing I wasn't expecting was to be so confident and so proud of my body. And I think because when you go from being so heavy um, and you just kind of are miserable and you feel unattractive and you just you just don't like yourself anymore. It's so mind blowing to be in a place where you're in this lower pant size, but not even just the pant size, like the way that your body looks. You know, yes, there's the dimples and the rolls and stretch marks all the stuff we had anyway and the loose skin now because you're losing weight and a lot of weight in a short period of time um but I literally look at myself naked and I, I suggest anybody to do that even before you start losing your weight get your ass in front of your mirror bucket ass naked and be like bitch you are snatched you are fine that's how you got to do it you start loving yourself before this progress process process and then as you're going through it, you just love yourself even more. So, yeah, I'm just looking for a bae right now. Um, I, I'm actually not actively looking for anybody. I am opening my mind, my horizons, my heart for a new bae. Because I've been single for a long time. And we'll get into that in a different video, okay? But single and celibate for 21 months. Again, that's a whole other video. Um, but... Yeah, like life is changing and I'm feeling confident and like I want to get out now where I was a hermit for so long and I just feel so good about myself and I could not have had this without VSG. My life has completely morphed and I'm like, shit, I'm still 74 pounds from my goal, from my maintenance goal. Um, I want to be around 250. I may keep going after that, but it's funny because my family keeps asking me like, when are you going to like... What's enough for you? Because you look really good right now. And I'm like, listen, y'all just don't want me to be fire. I'm going to be fire. Um, I don't want to be skinny and bone. That's not cute for me. I want to be thickums. But, you know, it might not be 250. It might be 280. But really, it's also a balance of making sure that my body is healthy so I don't have any comorbidities. Like, that's the main reason to get the surgery. Not just to look good and snatched and sexy and, and a whole snack and an entree and a dessert. Um, it is also so that you can live a long happy fulfilling life um but I'm just taking it one day at a time and you know again I killed it last week in the gym you know even on Mother's Day I was up in there and I think I may have some clips for that and the scale really didn't move so I know that I'm building muscle I'm not about to sit up here and get discouraged so this probably isn't the most amazing video and the funniest because I'm just trying to hop back into the water and give y'all some content um but I thought I would update you on my five month process progress why do I keep mixing that up and um I will speak with the nurse again on June 2nd when I spoke with her on April 2nd we made a goal of 10 pounds a month so I hit I hit 10 pounds for the month of April and so right now because of the fluctuation um I need to knock off another 10 months 10 months <laughs> I need to knock off another 10 pounds and I literally have three weeks to do that so I can hit my goal that I have with her um, but what's cool is that my, one of my besties is a photographer and I'm finally going to do a photo shoot with my son. He is six years old. We've never taken professional pictures together ever. And it's been because of my size and my insecurity. So she is going to shoot us downtown, um, on June 8th. And so I'm going to make two goals or make it a twofold. We're going to do the photo shoot with me and my son. And I also want to be at 100 pounds down so I can have the cute 100 foil balloon and also celebrate being down 100 pounds. Um, so I literally have three and a half weeks to get 10 pounds, 14 pounds off of my ass. And, you know, I'm not going to be too hard on myself, but I am going to push for it. I am going to really fight this, not, this snack monster and leave me the hell alone. And, you know, get my protein and get my water, get five days in a week because I really like the way that feels. And then we'll see. So um, I'd say next video, I want to do some other type of content. So I may post something up this weekend. But as far as VSG progress, I'm probably going to hit it on June 3rd when I hit six months post-op. That'll be, you know, the exact half of a year. 
uh, milestone. So anyhow, I hope y'all enjoyed my video. I'm not as entertaining as usual. Um, but, you know, I'm just building it back up. I've enjoyed doing this. I appreciate you all still following me and subscribing, even though I haven't had any content up. And I appreciate you all for the love and support. Um, make sure you go to my Instagram. Um, VSG Rella is my weight loss page. And then Ariel J XOXO, I think that's my name. I'll post it on the bottom. Don't judge me. I'm tired. Um, is my personal one. So follow me on one or both. And I just appreciate y'all, man. This has just been a really awesome journey. And I love connecting with y'all. I love the love that was given to my B2K um, VIP experience recap. That one's approaching 5,000 views, which is freaking amazing. And I just hope to keep giving y'all some good stuff. So I hope y'all have a happy, productive week. Please always remember to be grateful and just practice gratitude in your daily life. I had to do that earlier. I had to journal because I was down and I had to write out all the things I'm grateful for. So just my tip of life, if you're ever feeling down and you're feeling like, you know, things aren't moving the way you want to or things aren't happening how you want them to, you know, write you a nice little journal entry, a love note to yourself and, and just talk about how grateful you are for what God has done for you, what the universe is doing for you. And I promise you'll feel better. So thank you for watching. Peace out. I'll see y'all later. Thank you.